This presentation is about how to tell if a verb is a linking verb or if it is an action verb. Okay, we're going to start this lesson reviewing all about verbs. There are four types of main verbs, and we have learned all four types. There's transitive active and transitive passive. These two types of verbs are action verbs, and they transfer their action. And we know that because of the word trans means transfer. Here is another verb type. It is intransitive complete. This is the third action verb, and it does not transfer its action, and we know that because of the in in front of trans. In means not. The most recent type that we've learned is intransitive linking. This is the only main verb that does not show action. This verb shows states of being, and since there is no action, there's also no transfer of action. The intransitive linking verbs are be, am, is, are, was, were, been, being, become, seem, appear, look, feel, sound, taste, smell, remain, grow, stay, and turn. These intransitive linking verbs should be memorized. Now, there's also another type of verb, and that's helping verbs. Helping verbs are not main verbs. So these four up here are your four types of main verbs. But we also have helping verbs, and they're not main verbs. They help main verbs. That's why they're called helping verbs. So what you have when you have a helping verb, you have helping verbs together with a main verb, and those together make a verb phrase. And you know that a phrase is a group of words acting together as one part of speech. So when you have helping verbs together with a main verb, those words together are acting like the verb in a sentence. The helping verbs are be, am, is, are, was, were, been, being, have, has, had, could, should, would, may, might, must, shall, can, will, do, did, does, and having. You know these by heart. Many of you still remember the song you memorized. Some of them overlap with the linking verbs, but remember, helping verbs are only helping verbs if they're together with a main verb, okay? So here's a tip. The same word can be doing a different job in a different sentence, okay? So here's an example of that. She grew tired. She equals tired. This is a linking verb. But you could also have the same word, he grew roses. That's a transitive active verb because he the subject is doing this action of growing, and this is what he's growing. He's growing roses. This is the direct object that receives the action. So in this case, he grew roses. You have a transitive active verb. In this case, she grew tired. You have a linking verb. She equals tired. Here's another example. I was a dancer. Again, linking verb. I equals dancer. Or the same word, the bird was chirping. It's now acting as a helping verb because chirping is the main verb and was chirping then together, those two words make up the verb phrase. So you really, nothing is automatic. You have to look at how the sentence is put together. You have to look how the parts are working together to know what they are. So quick review of linking verbs. Remember linking verbs show states of being and they link the subject to a noun that renames it, the predicate noun, or the linking verb will link the subject to an adjective called the predicate adjective, and that adjective describes it. The way to remember that is basically linking verbs act like equal signs. There's the list of linking verbs, and remember you need to memorize those. So at the beginning of this presentation, I said, how are we gonna be able to tell if a verb is a linking verb or an action verb? Because some of the verbs from the linking verb list can be action verbs, so how do you tell? There is a test, okay? So you ask this question. Does the subject of the sentence equal the predicate noun or predicate adjective? If the answer is yes, then it's a linking verb. If the answer is no, then it's an action verb. So we're gonna use the test and I'll show you some examples and we'll run the examples through the test and hopefully that'll help you see how you can tell if a verb is linking or action. So here's, the sentence, the test, and then the verb type. So let's get started. The soup tasted salty. The verb is tasted, right? Now is that verb an action verb or a linking verb? So you put it through the test. Subject is soup. Does soup equal salty? Yes. So in that case, tasted is a linking verb. 
Here we have, he tasted the soup. Now, does he equal soup? No, that's not what the sentence is saying. The sentence is not telling you he is soup, right? Here, the, the sentence is telling you the soup is salty. Soup tasted salty. The soup is salty, yes. He equals soup? No. So in that case, the word tasted is an action verb. Hopefully that made some sense. We'll try another one. He looks sad. Does he equal sad? Yes. So it's a linking verb. Here's another one. He looked around. Does he equal around? No. So in that case, the word looked is an action verb. How about Jim turned 14? Does Jim equal 14? Yes, he is 14, so it's a linking verb. How about Jim turned the wheel? Does Jim equal wheel? No, so in that case, turned is an action verb. So hopefully you can see how you, how you can put these words through this test of does the subject equal the noun or does the subject equal the adjective? And if the answer is yes, that it's a linking verb. And that is how you can tell between linking verbs and action verbs. So this chart right here, I think will be really helpful, especially as a study tool. Okay, these are the four main verb types. You have your three action verbs, and then this last column is your state of being verb or linking verb. We're gonna go through one column at a time and we're gonna talk about each verb. And this table, I really think, some of you are having a lot of trouble remembering um, the parts of, and how each of these types of verbs work. And so I'm hoping this table will help you. Transitive active verbs. Transitive active, active verbs show an action. The subject does the action and the direct object receives the action in a transitive active verb. And so you would diagram a transitive active verb like this, subject, verb, direct object, okay? And that is all the information about transitive active verbs. Now, moving on to transitive passive verbs, these two words transitive mean that the action is being transferred, but in a transitive, act, or transitive passive verb, it's still showing an action, but the doer of the action is either unknown or in a prepositional phrase. And the subject is the receiver of the action, okay? The subject is passively receiving the action instead of actively doing the action. And that is why this is called a transitive passive verb, because the action is being transferred. The subject of the sentence is not active. The subject of the sentence is passively receiving the action, okay? And this is how you diagram that type of verb. It looks very much like your basic subject verb, but the verb is transferring its action onto the subject. All right, now let's move on to intransitive complete. Intransitive means no transfer. The action is not being transferred onto anything or anyone. It is still an action verb. The subject of the sentence is the doer, that is an active subject, but there is no receiver. So the verb is complete on its own. There is no receiver. And you diagram that simply subject verb. Intransitive linking, these are your verbs that do not show action. These are your state of being verbs. So there is no action, so there's no doer of the action. The verb acts like an equal sign. Again, there is no action, so there's no receiver of an action. So the verb acts like an equal sign. So no doer, no receiver. It's just a state of being verb, okay? And that's how you diagram it. Subject, verb, forward slash, either predicate noun or predicate adjective. This table here, I feel like is a, going to be a very good review tool um, for the upcoming quiz.